Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Penology Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top three stocks that all of you should be keeping in your watch list for today. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions. For those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of last night's two videos, all right? So right after the intro. All right, everybody, again, before we begin, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm, as always. Right off the bat, the SPY is looking spectacular, all right? For those of y'all who watch this, this video, I told y'all that today, today, 4050 may be touched, and they may even be bridged, all right? And it looks like it wants to do so right now. I don't have any bad thing to say about the overall markets. I don't think so. It looks like it wants to go up here, all the way up here, maybe even higher, right? So if you're holding calls from last week, you should be in a very, very good position right now because things are looking into your favor. If you're shorting, if you're bearish for some reason, all I can tell you is be very careful because a lot of money is just flooding in to these markets all right now. The first stock that all of you should be keeping in your watch list for today, that stock is so Snow, S-N-O-W. All right, and the reason why I want to put Snow on you guys' radar is because it's been beaten down for quite some time now. As you can see, it dropped down all the way from like 429 all the way down to 200. And that's a 50% drop. And so far, it's trying to recover. It really, really is. Also, the other reason why I want to put this one on your radar is because of that morning star right over here. All right? Very simple, very easy, very obvious. The morning star is there. I like it. Um, therefore, it is good enough to be featured on this video. All right? So keep that one in your watch list. Where is it going to go right now? Is there any news to this? No, there really isn't. But I wouldn't be surprised to see this thing go all the way up to 247, maybe 248 um, today, at some point today. So keep that one on your watch list for a major move off of these lows. Not bearish on snow. The next stock that all of you should be keeping in your watch list for today, that stock is Amazon. All right, and Amazon, the reason why I want to talk to you guys about this one, again, it follows the market a lot. It follows the market to the T. Uh, right now, the market is up plus 0.70%. We have about 45 more minutes to go until the market opens. And it may open, I think it may open at the same exact percentage, maybe slightly higher. And then money will flood in from there. And we could see Amazon touch 210 maybe maybe 220 very very soon it could happen today i wouldn't bet against it all right it's still recovering from the lows if we go on to the daily time frame right um it's still recovering from the lows also there's an island gap reversal on here very simple very easy lots of short sellers are trapped down here and it gapped up with strength and right now it's about to open up again at 170 and run higher. Very textbook, very, very simple. Keep Amazon on your watch list today for a move up. All right. Now the next one that all of you should be keeping in your watch list for today, that stock is a bit cheaper than Snow and Amazon. That stock is Lemonade. All right. And Lemonade, Lemonade is still on that uptrend. It's about to open at 97 bucks, maybe 97.50. There isn't any news attached to this one either, but I like this one. Day traders, this this one might be for you. Um, I will be watching this one for sure for a move up to 105. I think it can do it. Again, all of these stocks have been crushed and this is the time to like shine, all right? So keep these ones on your watch list for today. I think it's gonna be very, very exciting for the longs, all right? Now, let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. The very first one that we will be covering in this video, that stock is Microsoft. And Microsoft right now actually broke out here, 
all right it broke out here it's scaring these shorts it's scaring these shorts a lot um they're not very happy right now especially because there was some news about microsoft getting some kind of deal with the u.s army there it is yeah so microsoft strikes a deal with the u.s army for augmented reality headsets all right and i'm sure there is a lot of money attached to that news and the market reacted to it quite well as you can see a spike right here came back down and then went back up again the next day and right now it wants to go up to 246 maybe even 248 so uh, keep that one in your watches not bearish on microsoft at all especially after that deal this is something that you go long you don't go short you don't try to fight this thing you just go long that's my very honest opinion of it right so um yeah that's my thoughts on microsoft the next one that we're going to be addressing in this video that stock is charge points and charge points right now is on a very steady uptrend it's doing quite well somebody asked about this one all right if somebody asked about it and i like the dragonfly doji on here and i like the fact that it's about to open up at 32 bucks i think it can go to 35 dollars very soon you know i think it might even get there today i do i'm not bearish on ev and everything attached to ev i don't i'm not bearish i think it can go up here before we see some type of like stagnation or pullback so for those of y'all who are longing this again it's bouncing off of the lows right over here i made a pre i made a video about this one a very long time ago right and right now it's it's almost here all right and then after that might, we'll, we'll check it out afterwards but that's my short term target for the stock the next one that we're going to be addressing in this video is just a follow-up on visa for all of you who are holding visa again this one performed to perfection after our doji it's about to get in the middle of this big circle right here right it's a bit more it's actually like a week ahead of schedule which is really really good our price target was 220 i think it can get to like 221 or 222 before we see some stagnation so uh if you're long in this congratulations um there is there was a lot of money to be made on here and i do think it has more room to the upside right not bearish on this sector either definitely definitely not um, but but don't get too greedy that's really all i gotta say don't get too greedy your options are up take your money off the table and then it's okay you can get back in later if you want but pay yourself it's very very essential to trading now the next one that we'll be talking about in this video somebody asked about kmo or maybe i wrote that wrong hmm yeah i wrote that one wrong i got I, i'll wait i wait for, for the next video to talk about that one i will look at it again yeah we'll look at it again later we will talk about oxy we shall talk about oxy today and oxy right now is currently consolidating right it's very irritating very very irritating it's not it's not done yet and i'm not bearish on oil at some point it's gonna make a reversal it's just pissing off all of the blocks over here definitely don't short this don't short oil it's not a good idea um but just be very very patient with this at some point it's gonna make its decision and it's gonna get up here it's just playing games with all of the longs right now very very frustrating as it can be and that happens i told you guys that it could behave like a like hue hua right and hua <laughs> did the same thing like this this is where you this this is where we're at right now with uh oxy this frustrating piece right here this is exactly where we're at it's yeah it's 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 expected i'm not surprised so uh definitely keep that one in your watches as well for a continuation and for a move to the upside and that is the end of the video again do not forget to destroy the like button for the youtube algorithm as always it helps the channel a lot and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well also if you are new to the channel definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on these pre-market analysis videos 
which are released during trading days in the morning at 8.15 a.m. Central Time, and a post-market analysis videos which are released every single day in the afternoon. If you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul Nguma and at Patternology Lab on Instagram and on Twitter and Facebook and Facebook. And lastly, now if all of this is new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market and you have no clue where to begin, I left some step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks valued up to $1,850 after signing up with Weibo using my very first link in the description below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, right? Enjoy the outro.